up guys so i got a quick little install gonna be installing a uh bypass blow off valve hopefully i don't blow up the car but all right guys so the engine it's pretty much stock tape uh the ac lines just to see if it'll make the ac colder i don't know if it actually makes a difference but you can actually touch the lines like they don't get extremely hot so at least that's a plus i don't know so this is the blow off valve so you are gonna need to remove those three bolts right there and you're gonna replace it with the ones that comes with the kit so this is a used kit that's why i'm i kind of uh I kind of actually went for it because normally they're like 70 70 to like 150 depending on who you get it for uh usually the cheaper one is torque solutions but it's pretty much just this piece of aluminum uh metal and i mean i got this one for 20 dollars chipped so that's pretty much a a deal yeah i mean i'm just gonna run it temporary just to see how how it runs uh, i do have a k tuner and I do have a the gauge, so I am gonna like check on the uh, my air fuel ratio, see how much uh, rich it, it runs. I mean, if it's extremely uh, rich, I mean I'll probably just take it off. But I just wanted to kind of see uh, how it sounded. Uh, in the future, yeah, I'm gonna run an intake, and I'm also planning on ordering the, the 27 Wong uh, turbo uh, turbo inlet, and then go with the a race math, and then go with the full. Uh, uh go with the full uh, cold air intake also i do have some plans for the fog lights i did see some pretty cool uh some pretty cool like the mesh grill so i'm thinking of doing that and i'm thinking of going with the jace uh racing but that's for the future so i'm gonna remove the bolts i don't have the light can you shine light there all right so oh, that's an angle an angle. Yeah, I think it's an angle. I'm just no, you're fine, you're fine. So upper half should match this upper half. Look how dirty it is. See? So it pretty much goes like this stock. So what you wanna do is run your bypass. You're gonna wanna use the o-ring side to the turbo inlet but as you can see this little uh, half circle crescent uh, has to match this flat part goes to the valve goes to the valve and then this o-ring gasket part goes to the turbo inlet like that so the way you see it it's gonna sandwich it's gonna sandwich this way so blow up uh, O-ring gasket in. So you'll notice the difference in size. It's quite quite significant. That being that the block, the bypass block is pretty pretty large, so it has to compensate for it. So it was a little tricky. I mean it's not just a matter of just taking them off, or at least not for me, because I didn't I didn't have a, a 516. So the OEM R516. It's a 516 head. So I had to kind of make it work with uh, just a, an open-end uh, wrench. So I had to undo the turbo inlet uh, piping or charge pipe, which is kind of embarrassing how it's just a coupler. But for now, that's, that's that. All right, guys, so uh, make sure you put everything back. This being, uh, I unplugged the little vacuum hose right there. I unplugged the wastegate actuator. Uh, I ended or tried to undo the coolant line, but I didn't want to mess everywhere. So yeah, just make sure you put everything back. So my kit came with the 10 mil uh, heads. So, I mean, whatever bolt head you have, make sure you bolt everything up. Don't go too, too hard. Cause like I said, those are uh, like plastic little rivets. So if you torque them too much, you'll end up stripping it and the bolt will pretty much just spin forever there and it's gonna be a bitch trying to remove it so what's up guys so i'm heading home from work so i'm gonna do some little sound clips hopefully the phone does it justice but here we go guys
uh, stay tuned if you want to see uh, the Jace Racing uh, install uh, video. Also, uh, the custom, the custom uh, fog light uh, bezel, and I got a custom exhaust coming up. So stay tuned for that one. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Got any questions? Let me know. As always, guys, stay wicked.